and thank Director Major and his council for this honor. To serve the Salesian Mission in the San Francisco province at provincial And for me, it is an honor. The honor is that I am now a Westerner. <laughs> Those who know me from the last century recall that I regularly used to receive the remark from superiors in my post novitiate years in Newton that I was more friendly with the quote-unquote Western bot than I seemed to be with my brothers from the right coast. <coughs> well, now I am a Westerner, and I'm proud of it. When I was provincial in Rochelle, 91 to 97, round one, I call it, I used to consider it a priority to work closely together with San Francisco, and I think we achieved much. As my partner in those days, Bill Schaefer, used to say, we're stronger when we work together. An even deeper honor that I feel is that this offers me a unique opportunity to start fresh from Don Bosco. An honor because Director Major's call gave me a chance to feel, in my heart, the liberating power of being. I can say honestly that when he called and asked me to go west, old man, <laughs> exactly one month ago today, on January 9th, I was surprised. I thought round one was it. And this call from Rome for round two came to me on my cell phone. Immediately after I had concluded a talk to our candidates on retreat about the Salesian style of obedience. <laughs> God's timing is perfect, but a sense of humor leaves something to be desired. <laughs> she also says that it's better not to push your cell phone in the directory. Make them look for you. <laughs> anyway, how could I say no? <coughs> and I didn't. I accepted immediately. And I felt a peace and a calm, really, come over me that I can only attribute to Don Bosco's promise. I just knew that God would provide that Mary would help, that Don Bosco would inspire, Contreras would support, and that friends and parishioners and family from both coasts would pray. I particularly want to single out for words of appreciation, Dave. He has not only served our province with, as Constitution 161 says, love and pastoral zeal, carrying out his service of building up a fraternal, provincial community, but in doing it, he has sacrificed himself to the extreme. He wore himself out. Dave, your experience reminds me of what Don Bosco said to his voice when he too was exhausted. For you I live, for you I work, for you I study, for you I am ready even to give my life. Our province can never thank you enough. And we promise to surround you with care and affection so that you are nourished and restored. at the same time would be too much for any one man. But John, you carry it with typical grace, intelligence, and competence. You kept the lid on. You put out some fires. You started some others. <laughs> and you remained at the center and at the head, and you moved both parish and province forward together. Our province community, John, thanks you with all our heart. Okay, now down to a few points of business. Things not on my radar screen, nor any part of my marching orders. I've heard it said, oh, they sent them out from the east <laughs> to make the two provinces one. No. <clears throat> that is not part of it. No, sir. All right. 
So please don't anyone think that. No thought of merging two provinces. Things I have no illusions about, that all the problems will be solved. They will be met, though, and together we'll engage them. And things I hope for, that we all, starting with me, return to Donald's school and the young. That we put God at the center of our lives and let ourselves be taken over by him. Taken over by God as persons consecrated by him for the salvation of the young, like Don Bosco was. For Don Bosco being taken over completely by God meant dedicating himself to the young without reserve. Living one in mind and heart with the brothers. Following Christ, obedient, poor, and chaste. And giving transparent and compelling witness to these gospel values to the world, but especially to the young. It meant devoting himself to prayer and the Word of God. I hope that we all start afresh from Don Bosco for a renewed offering of our lives to God for the young. I hope that we will become, with us SDB as consecrated disciples at the center, a vast family movement of persons passionate for the salvation of the young, especially the poorest. A vast family movement together with our sisters, our cooperators, and the countless lay men and women, young and less young, who share Don Bosco's mission and ministry with us. We're stronger when we're together. <clears throat> and things I promise, I will give to God to the young and to you, my brothers, my all and my best, with your prayers. First, I want to do a lot of listening, questioning, and learning. Please be patient with my learning curve. So much of the richness and the beauty of this province is new to me. Please help me. <coughs> I know ne next to nothing of California roads, so I asked Brother Michael for a GPS in the car. Or maybe you want me to get lost. <laughs> <laughs> and that GPS is coming. But my Russell music. Give me a GPS for your hearts. Share with me your journey, your dreams, your fears, your apostolic experiences, your successes, your losses, your hopes. I will walk with you, I promise, brothers, and together we won't get lost on our journey back to Don Bosco and to the young. And to those who may be watching this web stream live, instead of listening to President Obama's news conference tonight, I say, get a life. <laughs> <laughs> and to everyone present here in the chapel, here in Richmond, to everyone watching, to all my brother Salesians, to all my Salesian sisters, to all the cooperators, to the young, to our lay collaborators, to the friends of Don Bosco, please pray for me. And for all of us together in the Salesian movement of the San Francisco province, let us become a family, a huge family movement, proclaimers of hope for the young, or to recall an older expression, signs and bearers of God's love for the young. And I invite you now to join me in beginning this new moment in my life as a Salesian, and this new moment in our life as a province community, the same way as Don Bosco did, placing it all in Mary's hands. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed.